step is we need to remove this mechanical brake uh, using also this this is important guys because this is the one who will hold the uh, between the brake wheel and the pressure plate so that's why I need to put here and then lock So now uh, we already removed the uh, parts of the brick system. So this is the dowel or the spacer. Inside there is a lot of spring. So I will show you the how many spring inside in this brick uh, mechanical brick. are the springs that I told you here so it's consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spring so this is the one who pushes the pressure These are the parts of the motor that uh, we already uh, check and dismantled. So, is to lubricate again this bearing sensor. Uh, I will attach the photos that before and after that we uh, repack this with new grease uh, high temp because this is a very uh, continuous running. So that's why. We need a uh, grace the the high temp one, and these are the parts of the our spring type brake system. This is a electromechanical brake. Uh, it was supplied with a uh, 24 volt BDC, and this is the brake coil, or they call this uh, stator, brake stator, and these are the pressure plate and this is the plate and this is the lining reclining also this is the gear this is attached in here in the rotor and attached here inside the lining this is the motor cover and this is a bearing sensor the terminals and this is the most important that we don't uh, we need to keep on eye of this because this is the will be the one who will uh, give the gap of this air gap of this brick plate this is a this three pieces is important to make it balance all right and then uh, just like before uh, the coil is now clean now I uh, will show you how to assemble this motor so I thought everything I was explained already uh, okay uh, before we forgot this is very important 
because this is the spring this bearing uh, brake system this is very important so don't lose this or don't forget to install that okay right for the bolts so this is the proper way to install that plate Alright, 
that uh, there is a very important so when we install this uh, mechanical brake it should be have a gap uh, we need we need a filler gauge and the gap is the standard is 0.3 so we need to check if the gap is good both side because uh, this is very important guys because if you if you tighten this much or this much or this much it, there is a brake dragging so we need to secure this now let's check if the our okay so this is the air gap for this because up if this operational this uh, pressure plate will be will be magnetized with this coil it will suck up like that then the then the motor will release and good to go but if uh, there's no supply here in the coil or the brick stator then this is the dead man brick there's no supply the motor is stopped because this is a brick when you supply release this is the function of this electromechanical brick so that's why uh, we need to check the gap both sides when we bolt tight in this allen wrench because uh, there is a specified torque for this but I don't have uh, I don't have a torque wrench so I just use this failure gauge okay Okay, so we don't have any problem so it's, I think this is already balanced and you know the use of this is only to hold the pressure plate so that the spring will not come out so that's why we need these bolts and this is also uh, the the manufacturer also put this already this is for the para proper installation so that's why uh, I use these bolts for our uh, installation so that we don't have any problem with struggling to install the brick okay so now uh, I'm almost done I think I this is only left so I think you know already this uh, this is just like there and now it's done and after this we will test this uh, motor on the unit Sun libaong basta ka uban tikay.